All right, Staff Sergeant Wise, we are back to learn about drill and ceremony. Now, because I can't see you, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through each stationary position and then facing movement. And you can kind of do this along with me in your room, wherever you're at, or you can watch the video and then you know pause it after each movement, practice on your own. All right, that's how we're going to go through this uh, since we're doing this remote. So to start off, we're going to start with like the most rigid position first and then work down towards the most relaxed stationary position. So you guys all did MEPS, right? So the first one, position of attention. Position of attention, you're going to stand with your heels together. If you can see here, my feet are making a 45 degree angle. What that means is that... Um, my feet aren't together pointing forward, my feet aren't too far out. A 45 degree angle should feel comfortable and your heels are touching. Now my hands, my fingers are curled like this. There's a seam on this uniform that runs between the pocket here to the top of the cargo pocket. That's the seam where you need to place your fingers. If you were wearing your PT uniform um, or shorts or something like that, right? you just place it where you, that seam would be. All right. My head and eyes are straight forward. All right, so this is the position of attention. Notice, I wasn't moving. I wasn't um, looking around anywhere. I'm looking straight ahead. You're not allowed to talk. You're not allowed to move your head. Your arms stay in position. Your feet stay in position. You don't move at all. Now, from there, the next position down would be parade rest. Notice, snaps. This is tension. Parade rest. When I move from attention to parade rest, notice my right foot stays where it is at and my left foot moves out to shoulder width. My hands move behind my back. Now behind my back, my right hand is over my left hand and my fingers are extended and joined. You'll hear that a lot, all right? That means they're together like this and my thumbs are interlocked. Head and eyes are still straight to the front, okay? Not moving around, still not looking around. If someone is speaking to me, I'm staying in this position. Now, if you get the command stand at ease, what you do is now my head can move and follow the person who's talking in formation. That's the difference. It's the only difference between parade rest and stand at ease is the fact that at stand at ease, you can follow the person who's speaking. If somebody's walking around in front of the formation or maybe they're standing over there, I would be looking that direction, all right? At ease is the next command. So we went attention, parade rest, stand at ease, at ease. What happens is, if you notice my hands behind my back, it's real high up in, in the middle of my back here. It's not very comfortable. When I'm given the command at ease, I drop my arms down, kind of a little bit small of my back. It's in a more comfortable position, all right? So that is at ease. Now, we're going backward, right? Maybe we're going from at ease to attention. You're gonna get, the, there's two parts to the command. There is the preparatory command and the command of execution, all right? So if we're going to attention, the element is basically the preparatory command. So I would say, group, attention. Now, on that preparatory command of group, if I'm speaking to a group, right? If I'm at ease like this and my arms are down low, when I hear group, I'm gonna snap forward back to parade rest. It's gonna look like this. I'm looking in this direction right now, somebody's talking, and I hear group. Tell me Trump. See how that works? All right. Finally, we got at ease. The most relaxed position is rest. Literally, if you're given the command of rest, which probably will never happen in basic training, um, they'd rather just keep you standing at attention for two hours. Um, to practice your discipline. But if you ever do get the command rest, essentially what it means, you can do anything you want. I can get my phone out, move around. The only thing I can't do is move that right foot. That right foot stays planted as if it's nailed to the floor, so that keeps your position in formation. But I can turn around like this, I can check, text people, whatever, whatever it is you want to do. All right? Still not going to put our hands in our pockets because it's not professional, but other than that, move all over the place, you can talk. All right? Again, that, if the, somebody comes back in front of that formation and maybe they're going to say, put you back to attention, I'm standing here like this and I hear group, then it's going to look like that.
All right, so we went through attention, parade rest, stand at ease, at ease, and rest, okay? Um, I want you to take a minute, pause this video, work through those stationary movements. Now, we're going to move forward into facing movements, all right? All of these facing movements need to happen from the position of attention. So I'm standing in the position of attention, and right now, I get the command right face. That means I'm going to turn this, turn this way, 90 degrees from where I'm facing right now. If you can see my feet, all right, what's going to happen is the direction I'm turning, I'm going to put my weight on the heel of that foot. So if, you're, if I'm getting a right face, I shift my weight to the heel of this foot and the ball of my left foot. Watch how this works. I'm going to do it nice and slow. Right face. All right, see that there? I went up onto the ball, the heel of my right foot, on the ball of my left, turn, and then I bring this trail foot up till the heels are back together at the position of attention. If I go left, it's just the opposite. Left, first. All right, I'll let you see that again. Left, first. Right. Take a minute, watch this, try, pause the video, try it on your own. Now, right face, left face, pretty simple, okay? Um, if you're at home right now and you have a car carpet on your floor, it may not be the best place to do it. Um, maybe take your shoes off, you have socks on, bathroom floor is a great place to practice uh, facing movements, all right? It's one of the ways that I learned it. Now, this is the trickier one, all right? We're gonna do, we got right face, left face, we're gonna work on about face. This one takes a lot of trial and error, all right? Because you have to find a sweet spot where your foot's gonna go behind your other foot and you uh, do a complete 180 degree turn around, all right? So I'll do it once like facing this way and then from the rear. What happens is when I get the command about face, on the command face, my right foot, and it's always my right foot, is going to go behind my left. The front of my shin here is actually in contact with my calf. Okay, you want it to be roughly in between the top of the boot and where your knee is. That's kind of where that sweet spot's gonna be. And then what happens is I'm gonna spin on the heel of my left foot 180 degrees around, and my heels should come together back in the position of attention. All right, if you need to adjust, if you feel your heels aren't quite together, just make small adjustments. About first. Right? They shouldn't be large, noticeable adjustments. You shouldn't be looking down to check your feet. You should be staying at the position of tension. You need to move a little bit to get things uh, lined up, then you just do a small adjustment. This one is going to take a lot of trial and error. Break it down into those steps. Right foot behind left, my shin is touching my calf, and I'm going to spin on the heel of the left foot. Right on the surface. But here's one thing I'm going to tell you, some common mistakes. Number one, always right behind left. There's never a reason to switch, all right? Number two, all right, make sure you uh, always are turning clockwise, all right? I'm never going to turn this direction. I'm always gonna be turning towards my right shoulder. Number three, another common mistake is trying to turn on the toes of my left foot. It's gonna look like that. And then what happens is my heels aren't together, right? So if it looks like this, that's what you did wrong. If you step back too close to your heel, your feet are gonna get stuck while you're trying to turn. So that's another kind of mistake. If you turn around and your feet are too far apart, like this, see the space here? <laughs> that means that you stepped too far out. All right, so you gotta find the sweet spot. Not too close, not too far. That's why shin, to calf is a key that's gonna help you find that spot. So take some time, practice that over and over and over again until you can do that complete about face with your heels coming together right back at the position of attention. And for today, that's it for movements as far as movements uh, from this position. I'm also gonna go over a hand split real quick. All right, so you can work on that. 
that's going to require a mirror. All right, so make sure you you know get in the bathroom or somewhere you have a good a mirror that you can at least see from the waist up. The command for the hand salute is present arms. Again, you'll be at the position of attention for this command. When you get the command arms, you're going to quickly bring your hand up to the orbital, which is the bone around your eye here. Your middle finger is going to make contact with your eye. It should be touching. Shouldn't be away like this. Shouldn't be up here, down here, right at that corner. My other hand is still at the position of attention. Okay? Notice this is generally a straight line. Okay? Depending on the angle you're being observed at, this should appear pretty straight. We shouldn't see underneath your hand. We shouldn't see over the top of your hand either. It should be a straight line. Now, your thumb. Make sure this is together. A lot of people sit there and this thumb is flying all over the place, right? It needs to be in your hand, not stick it out all over, okay? Tucked in like this, all right? You see that? Now, another common mistake. You have glasses, okay? You're not gonna stick it up under your glasses here. You're just gonna go to the rim of your glasses. If you're outdoors and you have that patrol cap on, you're gonna go to the brim of that patrol cap. But for now, indoors practicing, go right up to the corner of your eye. And again, guys, after this video, we'll talk. If you have questions, we'll address those questions. Um, but really, this is going to be about watching the video, practicing, watching the video, practicing. All right, so spend some time on your own working through those movements now. This is the last one that we're going to do uh, today. And then when you're back here for drill physically and we're all together, you'll learn things like cover, dress right dress, and how do we adjust ourselves in formation. If you want to take a look at extra videos on YouTube, those are out there as well, to look at what is the, what are these uh, things look like when we're in formation with other soldiers. But for now, on your own, I want you to get proficient at those stationary positions, those facing movements, and that hand salute. All right?